Before starting to sell on eBay, one of the things that we have to configure is our site and shipping preferences. And that's exactly what I'm going to be going over in this video. Quick intro and let's go. Okay, so here's how to set up our eBay site and shipping preferences. Let's begin with eBay site preferences. We're gonna start off with our eBay account. We're gonna hover over our name on the top left and then click on account settings. Now remember, eBay changes this layout every now and then, which is why I'm recording this video to show you the new way that eBay is displaying all of this information and how you can get to it. So in the account settings, we're gonna look down at selling and down here below, we've got the selling preferences. Click on that. And this selling preferences is the formerly known site preferences. So what we want to do here is look at all of the options and choose the ones as follows. For automating feedback, you don't have to have this feature enabled because AutoDS can also automate the feedback for you. So you can leave that as is. And the first thing that we want to touch here is the return preferences. So on the right side, click on edit. And here we are creating return rules. And the reason that you want to do this is because if you don't do it, then when a buyer opens up a return and eBay sees that the item is under its return policy window, for example, if you gave your buyer a 30 day return window and the buyer opened a return request after 15 days, eBay sees that the buyer is eligible for a return according to your business policies and they will automatically accept the return and most likely not even give you a chance to upload your own return label which will set you back a few bucks and that is really not needed, especially when your supplier is giving you free returns. And so to avoid all of this from happening, all that you need to do is scroll down on this screen and turn on the RMA number. Once you have it on or the checkbox checked in, then you're telling eBay, give me the option to add an RMA, which stands for return authorization number, which is your own return label to each return label. So once you have this option enabled, that is all that you need to do and eBay will not automatically approve those returns and make the return process a big hassle for you. Now, there's another step that we can take to make sure that our buyers do not return the packages to the wrong places. So one of the ways of doing that is giving us a chance to upload our own return labels, which is what we just did by enabling RMA. The second thing is editing your return address so that in case the buyer still didn't know who's going to upload the return label and they see your return address, some buyers purchase their own return labels, they spend whatever the money they need to on it, and then they simply ship it back to your return address. Let me show you what that looks like. On the left side, I'm gonna click on personal info, and then I'll click on addresses. Here we've got all of the addresses, including our registration address, shipping address, ship from, and return address, which is what we wanna talk about right here. So on return address on the right side, we're gonna click on edit, sign into your account if you need to. And here you can see your return address. So what you wanna do here is create a return address and let me click on edit so that you can see all the fields. Now this should be a return address. The name should be, please do not send to this address. Seller will provide a return label. Now you can also write that in the street address, but in this case, I added hip shippers return address and I will talk about them in just about a minute. In the phone number, you can include your own phone number. In this case, I added hip shippers phone number. And once again, I will explain why soon. So the main thing is in the addresses, you wanna write down, do not send to this address. So if the buyer even thinks about returning it to your return address, they will see this message and they will wait for you to upload a return label, which you will be eligible to do once you enable those RMA options that I just showed you. So that's regarding the addresses and how to set the return preferences on your selling preferences. Next, we're gonna scroll down to multi-quantity listings. And here where it says listings stay active when you're out of stock, we wanna make sure that that is enabled. And the reason for that is once a product goes out of stock on your supplier's website, and then AutoDS will also bring it out of stock on your eBay store, then eBay can simply delete all of the listings history. So if you sold this product a few times and it goes out of stock, eBay will simply delete its selling history and you will start again from zero sales. And this is not something that you want when you're drop shipping on eBay. And that is because the more sales that you have, the more the listing is going to be advanced higher and higher and ranked better on eBay's search engine. So we wanna have as many sales history as we can on every listing and this is how you're gonna do it. When you have this option enabled, then even when the item goes out of stock, eBay will keep all of its selling history and as soon as it comes back, 
in stock on your supplier's website and AutoDS brings it back in stock on your eBay store, the item will simply be back in stock with all of its selling history and it will rank accordingly on eBay's search engine which will bring you more traffic, more views, and more sales to your listing. So make sure that the listings stay active even when they're out of stock. You can also enable buyers can see exactly how many items are left because if you're only selling a quantity of one, and AutoDS will always bring that one unit back in stock once the product sells. It'll go down to zero and it'll go back up to one again. And then the buyer will always see a message the seller only has one item left, which can create a rush for them to go ahead and purchase before you run out of stock. So we're gonna leave that option enabled. So that's basically everything that we have to do under selling preferences. Now let's go ahead and click on shipping preferences on the left side. Here we've got eBay's global shipping program. And this is why I also wanted to talk about HipShipper, which is the alternative to this. But before we talk about them, what are we talking about in the first place? So with this option, we're going to enable worldwide shipping, which means we're not only going to target the US audience, but anyone around the world that our suppliers can ship to, we're also going to target those countries and make sure that they also see our listings, which will once again bring us more traffic and more sales, which ultimately means more profit for our dropshipping business. Now, in order to enable worldwide shipping, we have two options for that. One is eBay's global shipping program, which is what we're seeing right here under shipping settings. As you can see here, the shipping program, we're not enrolled in the shipping program yet. So what we can do here is click on edit and click on start now to start configuring the settings to enroll in eBay's global shipping program. Now, what this means basically, when you enable this, then eBay will create an international shipping policy for your listings, and then anyone will be able to buy your product from around the world. So for example, someone from Australia will buy your product. And now instead of you purchasing the product from your supplier's website and shipping it directly to your buyer in Australia, you're gonna ship it to eBay's warehouse in the US, their GSP warehouse, and from there, they're going to ship it to your buyer. That's how it works with eBay's GSP program. And you have a similar option using HipShipper. So HipShipper is a different company that does the same thing as eBay's GSP program. And in many cases, their shipping prices can also be cheaper than eBay's GSP. So the way it works here is once you get an order, you pretty much do the same thing as eBay eBay's GSP, you send the order to HipShipper's warehouse and from there HipShipper will send it to your buyer. The process is pretty much automated and it doesn't cost any money to enroll in HipShipper's international shipping program. They simply take all of your listings, those that are eligible for international shipments, and they'll add an international shipping policy automatically to them. So the whole process is very simple and you can read about it in our integration page with HipShipper and it's very easy to enroll. We also have YouTube videos on it and we have help sections on it. And again, this integration page, which shows you how this whole program works. But basically both of these options both of these features are giving you the same option to enable worldwide international shipping to your listings. So be sure to have that to make more sales and more profits in your dropshipping business and not just target the US audience, which is a great audience to target. But once you go worldwide, you won't want to go back. So once again, we've got more information on our YouTube channel on how this program works. And that pretty much wraps up how to create your shipping preferences and your site preferences on eBay before you start listing your products. If you have any questions on how to set your site and shipping preferences or anything else on eBay, let me know in the comments below and I will answer you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about your next step in your e-commerce business.